Um, this is about her health. We have the judgment card. Now here, for me, I think this is going to be a news about her health. Well, I'm going to do a reading on Princess Catherine. I see what's going on because I think that she was supposed to come back in May or April or May or something like that and she's still a no-show and they're just kind of reporting and saying that she's doing really well. We're going to do a reading on her. To work with me, visit my website ellieurquette.com. I can assist you with your love life, your finances, and of course your health. I teach how to manifest anything into your reality spiritually and scientifically. Now, if you guys are here for the first time and you don't know, uh, my mom just passed away a week ago and I'm trying to raise money for the mortuary and the church. They're really, really nice people. It's a very expensive town where they live. So if anybody wants to do something nice for their family, like cremation or burial, it's super expensive, like five, 10, $20,000. And a lot of people don't have money to do that. And I heard the, the management talk about it. So I wanna raise money and I wanna give them like, I don't know, two, $3,000 or something like that. So they can use for like families that come in that can't afford to, to pay like I did for my mom. So if you guys purchase my makeup and skincare, everything's vegan organic cruelty free as you guys see as i'm sitting in front of you if you don't know me if you go and watch my my vlog channel ellie arcade vlogs i don't wear foundation i don't wear concealer i just wear a little bit of powder blush and some lipstick because i have incredible skincare products i have um amazing serums everything's anti-aging and it cleanses your skin it clears your skin of acne is age spots sunspots my soap is amazing for face and body my face cream is amazing the makeup is amazing everything's organic cruelty free and vegan so if you guys buy my products it's going to go the money is going to go for a good cause but also you're going to get an incredible product to work with me you go to elliot.com under book now i offer email tarot reading only because people are bitching about how expensive i am so you guys can ask three questions you pay for it and then you send me your questions There's and then I do a video reading and then I send it back to you. You can watch it. If you guys want to come to me for like one session, I do tarot and coaching together. If you guys want to buy the package deals like 10 day or 20 day and the people that want to join the elite coaching program, which is where I do spells and energy healing and quantum healing and, and, and it's going to be custom made, you know, to the client's needs. All of that is available on my website, ellieurquette.com. What is going on with Princess Catherine? I'm going to say her maiden name because when you usually do readings on somebody, you're supposed to be saying their maiden name. So Kate Middleton, Kate Middleton, Kate Middleton. What is going on with Princess Catherine? What is going on with Kate? Is she okay? Is she still alive? Like what is going on? Princess Catherine. We got the wish card. It looks like she's, so this is suggesting that she's okay. She's not dead. Princess Catherine, Princess Catherine. We have the King of Swords. I feel like this is William. Even though he's a cancer sign, he's coming across as a King of Swords, which is very logical, very by the book. Is Princess Catherine okay? What else, what else, what else? Everyone is defensive because they don't really want people to know what's going on or they're just very protective over her privacy, maybe just protective of her. If she's really indeed going through like a cancer treatment, preventative cancer treatment, they just want her to have her privacy so she can heal and feel better. So the people around her are very protective of her, whether it's her husband or the palace, they're just very like protective. There's like this protective energy around her, okay? We have the lover's card. Uh, she's still married. A lot of people are like, oh my God, she left because she wanted to get a divorce. No, they're together. They're married, okay? That's not what's going on. Catherine and... I feel like she's working behind the scenes with her charity events. Um, yeah, because this is like charity and I think like she's doing stuff with charity. Now, I don't know if she's attending and just the public doesn't know or she's just doing things for her charity behind the scenes, like from the comfort of her bedroom, something like that. But charity is coming up for her because I think she's very involved with her charity work and the organizations that she's involved. Okay, so Princess Catherine, Princess Catherine, uh, she's coming She's coming across as the Empress. So also she is going to become the future queen. Princess Catherine is not dead. Princess Catherine is not divorcing Prince 
uh william anything else when are we going to see her i think her and the palace and the royal family they're just very very protective over the situation right now maybe some things were fabricated and some things were kind of twisted a little bit uh maybe some other things are going on that they just don't want the public to know but at the end of the day everyone's being very hush hush and secretive because they just don't want people to know they just don't want people to know and that's what's going on okay princess catherine princess catherine and so she might have cancer she might have other issues i don't know uh she does come across as kind of being tired being a little depressed maybe just dealing with mental health issues something like that i don't know i'm just uh, doing a really really quick reading on her because i just like i did two videos prior to this and i'm just sitting down and i'm just doing readings back to back so i don't know if i'm accurate or not um this is about her health. We have the judgment card. Now here, for me, I think this is going to be a news about her health. And I gotta see what the next card is gonna be, but this is about her health, okay? So what are, what are they gonna announce regarding Princess Catherine's health? The Four of Pentacles. The Seven of, Seven of Pentacles. What are we gonna hear about Princess Catherine's health? Ooh, the tower. I think they're going to make an announcement about her condition. And I don't know. The tower is not good. So the empress could mean that she's going to become the queen in the future or she's already being viewed as the queen by the people. Like you know people think of her as the future queen and they love her and they respect her or she's going to become the queen because i don't know if she's going to survive i don't know if she's going to survive this cancer thing we have the even though i shuffled we have the tower card at the at the end of the let me shuffle this again is princess catherine going to so okay so if princess catherine really has cancer and she's getting treatment for it. Is she going to survive this? Is she going to become queen? Is she going to be okay? Princess Catherine, Prince William. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Victor. Okay, so this is victory. This is coming home victoriously after a battle. I think it's going to be a battle, meaning like whatever she's dealing with is going to be a battle. It's going to be very difficult for her and her family to go through this, but then she's going to come home victoriously, meaning like she's going to beat this thing. So if it's cancer, she's going to beat this thing. Okay. That's what I think it's going to, and then the death card, Ugh. transformation, change. Let me see what else, the, the health stuff. So the health stuff keeps coming out. She might, I don't know why this is coming to me. You guys, she might get pregnant again. I don't know if I'm fucking crazy, but so she's going to come home victoriously. We have the death card, which is like transformation. And then we have the health stuff. I feel like the health stuff is going to be mentioned. And I think she might get pregnant. And again, I think she's gonna, I think they're gonna announce that Princess Catherine is pregnant. All right now. So by the way, when I read, sometimes I see years ahead. I'm not gonna say like, she's gonna be pregnant the second, or maybe she will be pregnant the second. I don't know. But announcement is about pregnancy. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe this is gonna be the last time she can get pregnant. I don't know you guys is she for in her 40s or whatever ten of pentacles this card keeps coming out this is news this is news especially about her health this just reminds me of like you know the cross like the american whatever the the cross thing like the health flag or whatever it's called american cross or whatever it's called that's what that reminds me of i feel like the royal family okay so the reading on the royal family is a little weird i feel like there's stuff in there that psychics mediums we're not allowed to see and i think they are able to block it now something is coming to me about her a sacrifice or maybe there was a baby involved and it was sacrificed because she got pregnant by somebody else or maybe prince william got some, someone else impregnated and then they have to sacrifice the baby by that i mean like abortion so there is some weird shit going on in this reading which i don't feel comfortable to look further into it because i don't want to get my channel you know in trouble because 
last time I was kind of going really crazy with the royal family readings, I lost thousands of subscribers. We're not gonna go too deep in the rabbit hole, but something like that. I hope she's okay, and I hope she's alive, and I hope she's gonna come back, and I know that people love her, and I just wanted to check up on her. If she really is suffering from cancer, my heart goes out to her, it's very difficult. I've seen people that, you know, go through um, that and it's very very difficult if she's really suffering from that I hope that she's gonna have a speedy recovery I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a like subscribe share support the channel with donations support the channel with the buying the products because I want to make a donation to this place that took care of my mom I'm gonna try to make videos when I can uh, and then maybe take time off when it's needed so i'm just kind of going with the flow i don't know how else to deal with the loss of my mom it's been really really difficult and i'm so i love my clients so much and i love you guys so much and everyone's been extremely kind and sweet with all your messages and all your comments i really appreciate you guys i feel the love i know you guys love me and i know you guys are thinking about me and i'm just trying to stay busy so i don't think too much because it's really paralyzing to think like my mom is gone even though i know even even though she's not in physical form that she's in spirit form and she just doesn't have a body but still it's like my mom I'm not talking to her not seeing her it's gonna be extremely difficult for me because I was very very close to her I changed my hair color because I want to look like her uh, this is like literally what her hair color was and then she made it more ashy but when she was younger like around my age this was like her hair color she used to like sit out in the sun and put like a lemon in her hair so she could go like really blonde and she just was so very very beautiful very talented very artistic she painted and she did you know sang and did music and then became a teacher and stuff like that but she's very artsy fartsy artistic very goth i'm wearing her watch and that's it just it sucks the 3d sucks and it is what it is we all all of us will die one day we will watch our loved ones die we will watch our pets die and it just fucking sucks it is what it is love you guys thank you for being here and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys are you tired of just wishing for the life you want and ready to start manifesting whatever it is that you want into your reality well my name is ellie orquette and i am a psychic medium a transformative mindset coach and i am here to guide you on an extraordinary journey of transformation through my elite manifestation coaching program now i can't promise to unveil all the secrets here but i can't promise you this together will tap into the limitless power of your mind to manifest abundance, success, and happiness beyond your wildest dreams. My coaching program isn't just about positive thinking or wishful thinking. It's about harnessing the incredible power of intention, alignment, and inspired action to create tangible results in your life. Imagine waking up every morning feeling deeply connected to your purpose and effortlessly attracting the opportunities and experiences you desire and stepping into the highest version of yourself with confidence and clarity. That's the magic of manifestation and it is within your reach. So if you're ready to stop settling for a life that's less than extraordinary and start living in alignment with your greatest desires, now is the time to invest in yourself and join my elite manifestation coaching program. Let's co-create the life of your dreams starting today.